Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved with me, Pommy Gamer. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. And I'm just over at the new base, and the kibble farm is well and truly into production. I actually can't keep up with the amount of uh, eggs that these guys are laying now. I think we might have to turn uh, down the egg laying on the server because... Um, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Everyone's a bit frisky at the moment. But um, in the long run, I guess I'm not complaining because it means we're going to have all of the kibble to tame up all of the things. We've got so many Kano eggs now. I dare say we're going to be going out looking for some perfect tamed direwolves very, very soon. Um, is that everyone? Yeah? Okay, good. And uh, it got me thinking, actually, about the, uh, the new base. And last episode, we moved over here. Uh, officially now we've got the whole family over here but I find myself keep going back to the uh, the western coast base because we have nothing here to uh, to get stuff done none of the crafting or anything like that and uh, I then started to think about what I wanted to do down here and how I wanted to lay out some stuff and uh, I realized that these um, vaults are actually shorter than the advanced uh, architecture castle walls here they they kind of finish um, about where my crosshair is and uh, this got me thinking um, wouldn't it be cool if we had some kind of ceiling uh, coming off of the um, a, a wall placed back here that we could then access our um, vaults through so if I take you out to our Royal Engineers workstation I found something uh, in the advanced architecture mod which I think we might be able to use so uh, let's take a look in here and search for ceiling and uh, if we go here you can see we've got this three-quarter cutout structure and I think that's going to be perfect for us to actually be able to build a ceiling above the vaults but not only that still be able to access uh, the vaults uh, inventory uh, through the gap now I did the maths and I had a look on the uh, the art wiki and it turns out that I don't think just leaving the vaults as they are here are going to be tall enough and in fact I actually had a play around with placing some walls and what I've come to realize is actually what we're going to need to do is to build uh, some stone walls up one of the vanilla stone walls um, build a sort of platform that's one stone wall high and then place vaults on top of that and then that would be the exact height we need in order to still be able to access the inventory of the vaults through the floor however this does mean that we're going to have to demolish these vaults but fear not fear fear not I've already been over to the western coast base and I've crafted up four more vaults and uh, I want to actually get a lot more vaults in here and in fact we may even lay some on this side uh, and be able to walk uh, Dappy through who's our weight carrier and then unload on either side and then the plan is above the vaults is to have uh, another ceiling where we have our fabricator, smithy and all of that stuff to get things done uh, I've already gone ahead and emptied out all of these vaults. In fact, I'm just going to check one last time to make sure I haven't missed anything at all. And now begins the sad process of demolishing them. And of course, we don't want to waste any of these materials because we can get at least another two vaults out. Aries, what's your weight like? A bit of server lag right there. So let's just drop these onto Aries. There goes the first one. Oh, they're so expensive. Um, there goes the second one. Oh, I know, mate. I know. You just hold on to that stuff and keep it safe for me because I've got nowhere to put it in the interim. <laughs> I've got basically the inventories of, the, of all the vaults spread across Ares and Dappy there because they're the only diners I have that have significant weight. And there goes the last one. And I'm burdened. Why am I burdened? Okay. Let's just drop that metal and I think we're going to have to put some on Dappy. I'm guessing Ares is full, which is why I didn't take all of that in. Oh, you're full as well now. Well, this is a pickle. Horus, can you help us out for a second, buddy? Yeah, you've got some weight, so you can hold on to those for me. Ah, there we go. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is uh, continue on with uh, placing these uh, f 
Vanilla Arc Foundations all the way along here. I'm going to form a sort of platform and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to replace the vaults. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back guys and as you can see we've got a very very long platform here. It didn't take too long to put together uh, but this is what our vaults are going to sit on now and in fact as you can see it's actually too wide but what I've done is actually on this uh, inside here you can't see it right now but there is another wall running this entire length as well because what I plan to do is demolish this side and then attach some of the uh, small stairs from the rounded walls and stairs mod um, because the vault is only going to extend out to about here where my crosshair is and that should be sufficient uh, for it to for the stairs to kind of take the uh, the rest of that visual weight, even though they're all, the vault's going to be supported by this entire structure here. So uh, I think now is the time actually to uh, place these vaults. So I'm going to get out our first vault and get into our trusty uh, K menu, and uh, we're going to try and get this as straight as humanly possible. Um, this obviously determines the placement of everything else going forward, and uh, because I've left enough room back there for uh, another wall, uh, I can butt this right up against the edge of uh, this platform here and uh, use that uh, angle to kind of judge how straight it is. I think we need to turn it ever so slightly to the left. Might be a bit too much there. And uh, let's go a little bit to the right. And I mean that's looking pretty good. Looks like we've got a little bit of an angle. It's really hard to see. I wish there was a way you could like voluntarily snap these kind of placeable items to things. Um, that's looking a little bit better. I mean, I think this is pretty good as I'm going to get it. Okay, and we're going to come just a little bit to the right here. As close as we possibly can. I think this is pretty good. Alright, here we go. There's the first vault. Let's get that butted up as much as we possibly can. There's the second vault. Yeah, look at he does it. There's the third vault. And there's the fourth vault. That's awesome. Now, in theory, what I can do is at least show you one of the walls and what I plan to do. I need to get some more vaults made with the materials we got from the other ones. I might also spend some time off camera going up to the volcano and harvesting some more metal so that we can get even more vaults made because I really want to get this done today because I'm fed up of going backwards and forwards through, through the Stargate to uh, the western coast base to uh, get anything done. But if we come out here and let's grab some of our castle walls which we've already got made up um, so that's, we're going to need just two of them for now I think and uh, I think I've also got some of those cutouts made which I put on Dappy ahead of time so uh, let's see if uh, he's got hold of those do you have them mate? if I was to do a ceiling search, no you don't have them who's got them? Ares? do you have them? yeah you do I see you. We just need the one for now. And then what we can do is if we come around this side here, get our walls down onto that slot there, and our roof down there. So we want to place uh, this wall just there. Nicely done. And you can see that that's butted up absolutely perfectly. And, uh, and I'm already very happy because I know that this is going to work because <laughs> I worked out that this is the exact height we need it to be at um, but let's not count our chickens just yet let's get a wall up there as well and here we go this is the uh, the bit we're looking for so we need to try and get it to rotate around the other axes which I know you can definitely do it's just a case of trying to finesse it slightly 
Come on. Oh, I can't tell if that's... Is that on? No, it's not. I need to see a gap this side. Okay. This will be the next 10 minutes of the video. <laughs> me trying to get this <laughs> rotated around the right way. Um, Horus. I know you can't fly, mate, because you've got a ton of metal on you, but can I use you? Yes, I can. Okay, let's try... Let's try coming along this side. Oh, I think we got it. There we go. That is so awesome. Right, Horus. Can you actually fly? Oh, barely, but that'll do. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this has worked out perfectly on the first try. Uh, I can't say that most of my builds do that, but this is what I'm on about here. So now we've got this exposed, what it means we can do is we can here access the top of the inventory of the bolts like that and we can get up onto this uh, platform here. So the idea being this is where we're going to have all of our fabricator and, th and stuff so that we can get work done basically and also uh, when we hit that level 85 we're going to have our industrial forge just there as well. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. Uh, I just need to get the rest of it finished. So what I'm going to do guys is head back up the mountain, get a load of more resources and get some more vaults crafted up and then I'll bring you back when it's done. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back guys and it's the wee hours of the morning and I'm just finishing up this area and I'm super excited to show you guys the finished result because it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go this way. Are you ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one. Ta-da! I'm super happy with how this turned out. A little bit annoying that the uh, the wood at the top there, um, when you uh, rotate it the other way, the uh, the textures don't line up properly. That does irritate me a little bit, but there's nothing we can do about that. I did spend some time trying to uh, get it looking right, but this is super cool now. We've got 12 volts in total, and I've labelled them all, and uh, this is just going to open up all of the uh, storage possibilities for us now. We're no longer having to store things on our dinos. And if I bring Dappy along, I can demonstrate how this works. So, imagine I've just come back from a hard day's gathering. Yes, ignore the fact that I'm clipping through it, it's not a problem. And then we hop off, and we jump down here. And then we can just go, there we go, some of that. We can even access his inventory, we turn around, offload, there we go. And then, of course, once we're done with that, um, we need to install some sort of stair system, but I'm not really sure how we're going to do that yet. But for now, we just uh, come up here onto Horus. And uh, we can go, yep, I want to access those. So in there we've got gems, we've got powders, drugs, animal skins, armor and weapons. And over this side is kind of our core materials. So building supplies, fiber, thatch, wood, stone, and flint. And then uh, on this side, nearest where the industrial forge is going to go is where we're going to keep our metal. Uh, so yeah, really, really happy of how this all turned out now. Uh, so now I need to actually look into uh, crafting up some of the uh, workbenches, so we just need to quickly pop back to the uh, western coast base to um, have a look at how much all of that's going to cost. And I'm also interested in seeing um, what the chemistry bench uh, costs as well. Now the chemistry bench is uh, effectively an advanced mortar and pestle. It allows you to craft uh, the items that you would be able to craft in a mortar and pestle but in bulk. So that's really cool. And we've also got, coming in a future patch, the Industrial Grinder, which again is one of those uh, things that allow us to craft um, other, other stuff in bulk, like uh, thatch and uh, fibre, etc. So let's come in here. We need to actually, I think, probably look at the fabricator for the chemistry bench. I don't think I've learned it yet. Um, no, that's Jenny. Um, that's the vault. Okay, so let's look at our Ingram points. Chemistry bench. Oh, it requires level 85 as well. Okay, so we can't craft that just yet. Um, what about the fabricator? Where do we make that? That is in the smithy. Okay, fair enough. Let's take a look at the smithy. Hey, Winnie. How you doing? I guess uh, Freddy's still got that alpha problem at the moment at his base. So he's kept him here for safety. 
So let's go in here and let's look at crafting. So fabricator, we've got pretty much all of the stuff except for spark powder and oil. In fact, let's quickly have a look. I think we've got some spark powder lying around. Any oil though? Uh, last time, ah, there we go. I went out and got some. So let's throw those in here and whilst we're here we might as well craft up this fabricator. Let's get one of those. Now we're also going to need uh, the industrial cooker, which I believe is crafted in the fabricator. So let's have a look over here. Structures, cooking, oh yeah the industrial grill, pardon me. Oh and also the industrial cooker, I completely forgot about that. Okay, uh, in fact let's take a look at that because I think we can learn that now. Yes, level 80 I believe it needs uh, so all requires a cooking pot, 60 ingram points, it's really expensive. Well, there we go. I'm guessing that's crafted in the fabricator as well. So let's just come out of that. Cooking. Oh, that's expensive. So we've got the oil, cement and paste. That's going to be a huge problem for us to get. We may not get to it in this episode. I, can't, I really want to though. Hmm. And 1800 metal. Oh. <laughs> I've spent days mining metal. Um, for you guys, it's been five minutes, uh, but for me in real life, this has actually been 24 hours because, unfortunately, I don't I don't get to play all day every day. I, I do have a job I have to go to, um, so it's, <laughs> it's actually been a, a full 24 hours since I started that build. Um, industrial grill. Can we do this whilst we're here? Let's take a look. I think we've got some metal lying around. I did make a couple of runs up to the uh, volcano. Um, what are we looking for? Metal? None in there. I think actually most of it might be at my um, new base now. There's 200. A little bit encumbered at the moment. Am I still encumbered? No, okay. So, 200 metal. Um, what else was it? 30 crystal, 40 cement and paste, and 40 oil. Crystal, mm, probably got some. Let's take a look. Yep, we've got crystal and we've got the oil, so let's just grab a couple of stacks of those. Cementing paste, ugh. This is the uh, the biggest problem at the moment. It's just completely out of cementing paste. It's going to require 40, not as expensive as 450. It's so. I don't get that in the the leap in terms of engrams. They really need to rebalance some of these points because, I mean, the industrial cook all you really use it for is to bulk cook kibble. Uh, I don't know why it's so expensive though. Okay, all right then guys. I guess I'm gonna go look for some cement and paste, and then I'll bring you back uh, once we've got all of the uh, new structures set up at the new base. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back guys, and the workspace is finally finished. I've installed some Stargate teleporter rings down here, so let's uh, take a look up at top. And here we go, we have everything we need up here. Um, I forgot how big these things were actually, so I was hoping to tuck it in the corner down there, but I've had to resort to putting it here, I just need to be sure I don't step on it. But as you can see we've got our fabricator here, our ancient bench. Uh, we've got four uh, refining forges here which are going to be temporary uh, once we get to the uh, level 85 for the industrial forge and then we can get rid of those guys. We've also got our regular smithy here, we've got our Royal Engineers workstation which is where we craft all of this advanced architecture and uh, here we've got the gate smithy, something we haven't played around with too much. I know Freddy's playing around with it in his build so uh, we'll definitely have to check that out at some point. Um, here as well we've got a couple of tables with mortar and pestles on again these are temporary until we can get to that level 85 to get the chemistry bench we've got our industrial girl and I finally did manage to gather up enough materials to, in, to craft the industrial cooker so I'm super happy about that really interesting thing about this is it has to snap to uh, a stone or you know, whatever irrigation pipe uh, and have a um, permanent supply of water going to it, which I guess kind of makes sense, but it means we uh, we don't have to muck around with uh, dragging water skins in and out of uh, a nearby water source to keep uh, the kibble going. This is going to enable us to, 
just cook up silly amounts in one go. And of course we're using the castle well which we've used in the last episode up the top there to provide the water supply and it just keeps it nice and neat and I'm really really happy with this, how the way this turned out. We've got all of the things we need, we can get around the back here, we can access all of the inventories of the vaults, super super happy. Um, yeah this has been a lot of work but it's definitely worth it going forward. Well that's going to be it for today's episode guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, remember to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Ark Survival Evolved videos. Until the next time guys, keep calm, and level up!